Welcome to this video tutorial on importing raw datasets into Euclid and the subsequent use of the feature Extract a Dataset. New functionality is described that was introduced in the October 2022 release of Euclid. On import, by default, raw datasets of type substance, mixture, article and category are converted into a dossier. If a raw dataset is required, it can be created after import using the feature Extract a Dataset. This behaviour has been introduced because it provides the best protection against conflicts with data that are already in the Euclid database. It also gives a higher degree of control than importing directly as a dataset. Other aspects of import have not changed, for example the settings for overwriting here. The import of dossiers is not affected. In the October 2022 release, import as a dataset is still available at the link here, which opens the advanced import of a single dataset. Datasets imported from here, either singly or in bulk, are converted into dossiers. By way of example, I'm going to import a raw dataset in the default way. For clarity, let's start with no datasets or dossiers. First, browse to the file, or you can drag and drop it like this. When the import has finished, open the result by clicking here. From here we can see by the lock icon that the dataset has been converted into a dossier. The name of the dossier is the name of the substance dataset with this indicator prepended to it. To obtain an editable raw dataset from the dossier use the function extract a dataset. Before proceeding it is important to understand the concept of dossier subject. The subject of a dossier is a read-only copy of the raw dataset from which it was created. It is this which will be extracted. From the icon here, we can see that the dataset is a substance. The raw dataset may or may not already be present in the Euclid database. If the subject is not present, it is created on extraction. Extract a dataset is started from the three dot menu icon here. First, it compares by UUID the entities and documents in the dossier with any that are present as raw data. The result of the comparison is a preview menu, which shows all the entities and documents that are in either the raw dataset or the dossier. Entities are shown on the left here, and the documents they contain are shown on the right here. Each entity or document has a tick box which determines what happens on extraction. If an entity or document from the dossier is ticked, it will be extracted to the raw dataset and any existing version will be written over. If an entity or document is in the raw dataset but not in the dossier, if ticked it will be deleted from the raw dataset. To help the user decide which data to extract, each entity and document is classified from the reference point of the data in the dossier and labelled accordingly on the right. The label indicates what will happen in the extraction. In this example, all of the data are new to the database, so the classification is added, which means that new editable copies will be created. Exceptions in this example are the legal entity and site here, for which there are already identical copies in the raw data. So there are no labels and by default the boxes are not ticked. Clicking on the button Extract 
starts the writing process. In this example, a raw dataset is created, which can be opened after the extraction, like this. There is no lock icon here, so this is a raw substance dataset. Now let's see an example of extracted dataset where the raw dataset of the dossier subject is already present in the Euclid database. To do that, we can simply edit the dataset we just created and then redo the extraction. Let's go to section 6 where we have some data. Edit 1 by changing its name. Then save the document. And then we delete number 2. And then create a third document. and save it. Go back to the dossier via the shortcut and then extract a dataset. Most entities and documents are unchanged and therefore have no label. However, the substance entity itself is marked as changed because it refers to documents that have changed. From here, you can select documents in bulk by classification. Note that by default, newer data is selected because the assumption is that the new data in the dossier is preferred. Let's go to the section where I change the dataset. Here we find some classifications. The document I modified, number 1 here, is labelled Changed Older, which means that the dossier contains an older version of the document than the raw dataset. By default, older data are not ticked. The document I deleted here, number 2, is labelled Added, which is ticked by default because the data is not in the raw dataset. The document I created, number 3 here, is labelled Removed, which means that it is not in the dossier. Ticking the box will cause the document to be deleted from the raw dataset. Hovering over the grey icon here shows a help text. To revert the dataset back to where it contains only the data from the dossier, tick all three boxes and then click Extract. Now open the dataset. Now view the section where I change the dataset. The document I modified, number 1 here, has had its name reset to as it was before. The document I deleted, number 2, has been restored. The document I created in the dataset, number 3, has been deleted. Thus, the exact handling of the data can be controlled in a transparent and predictable way. Where deleting or writing over data, remember to take backup copies first. For more details about this and other functionalities, see the built-in manual which is accessed from the link here. Thank you for watching this video.